Good morning everybody. Welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome to our fourth day of our five days of Christmas. Today my team and I are showcasing um, gift card holder ideas for you because we know a ton of us are giving out gift cards for um, Christmas because it's it's not only an easier option but it's better sometimes to let the person pick what they want because sometimes they're not always satisfied with what you pick for them. <laughs> so I think I just love gift card holders. So let's go ahead and um, start with what we're using. We are using my Merry Christmas die. This is the die that I had featured for um, our last release. This was a freebie only. So 100 of you have this die. So I wanted to show you a different way how to use this. Um, by the way, this die will not be back in stock until next year. This was just like a, a limited edition for our early Black Friday sale that just passed. Well, that happened last Wednesday, okay? So anyways, that's our Merry Christmas die we're using. And then we're also using my favorite. This is the Frap gift card holder die. Now, I also have, these are pretty large dies. I also have a coffee gift holder die, which I use a lot but we're not using that one today. I wanted to switch it up and go ahead and use the frap one, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, okay, so I wanted to do this different now. For those of you, you know how much I love my polka dots. So we, I decided to do a polka dot background, okay? And then I have, I basically cut all of my pieces out. So we're going to quickly put this together. So I wanted to do a black strip here because of the black polka dots. So we are going to go ahead and get this down first. Okie dokie, let's get this down. Alright, I'm super excited everybody because I slept for five hours straight last night. I know that seems a little, but to me it's a lot <laughs> because all these nights, I don't even know how long it's been since I've got a slept more than two hours at least um, but yeah five hours straight that was a record for me last night and I was so happy so the, the all those meds and my little shopping bag of medications that I left with <laughs> Kaiser I think everything's finally starting to kick in thankfully so I'm so happy um, yeah so I'm just going to get my magnets put that here just kind of get that down so they won't go anywhere. I want to make sure those don't move because we are gluing onto um, glitter, which actually I'm trying to think maybe I should put this down with hot glue instead. So this is what we're going to do. This is the gift card that we're going to be using. So what I'm going to do, I think I might use hot glue to stick this down this time only because of the glitter. I don't want this to lift, especially because I'm going to give this to someone. I don't want it to come apart, and I know we could, you know, trust our handy-dandy hot glue for this. So, basically, the easiest way to put this together is a, go ahead and put your gift card in there, and then this way you'll know where to put the glue. So, basically, straight across there, here, and here, and then down the bottom portion there. So. I think I'm going to hot glue gun this, so <laughs> wish me luck. I hope I don't ruin this. Um, hold on. i got to be ready to get this down quick so it won't dry on me. I think I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and do the sides, and then I'll lift up and do that because I think it's going to dry too quick. So let me get this ready, get this going. All right, let's do this. Let's get this down as quickly as possible. Oopsie. There we go. Let's turn this around fast. Put that down. Let's go ahead and throw our little magnets on there. Hold that down for a quick minute. And now I'm just going to like carefully lift this little bottom part up and put the hot glue down there as well. I think we're going to be okay. I hope so. Cross our fingers. I never did this before. This is an experiment because I never really glue on 
<clears throat> excuse me, I never really glue onto glitter before. Um, with this, I mean, I love this stuff. I just don't know if it'll hold. So we're experimenting right now, so I'm pretty sure we're good with that. Oh, wow. Okay, it actually held pretty good. So now I'm just going to sneak this around like so and then put some right at the bottom here. Thin bead down there. Let's go ahead and throw this there. I think we're in business, people. Okay, so now I think I'm going to do the exact same thing with this up here. This is our little whipped cream. And I'm not sure if you could see that in the camera or not, but I use some, I add some white, like, um, glittery paper. Um, and I found a little piece and I was praying it would work and it did. It was the perfect amount of piece for this. So I was so happy. So we're going to go ahead and just glue this down as well. Try not to go over the little holes or the little cut lines. And that's just going to kind of go butt up against that black line there. Let's go ahead and I think we're good with that at the bottom. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. Okay. Okie dokie. So now that's done. Now the only thing is I don't know how well. This is plastic, of course. So I don't. We're, we're going to probably. Let me actually test something really quick here. Okay, what I did was I just did a little test little strip of that on here because I wanted to see if it was going to melt this um, acetate that I'm about to use. Um, and it didn't actually. It's actually staying pretty well. So I'm glad that worked. So that's what we're going to do. I didn't have to keep that on there that long. So we are going to go ahead. Oh, I have to use the, we're going to put in our little straw. Okay, so I'm going to put the straw in that little cut line right there. Like so. So you know what I'm going to do first? I am going to go ahead and put some, to kind of glue that bottom part there. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to, maybe I should put my hand on there, that's okay. It's all good. <laughs> okay, so let me put that there. So I'm just going to kind of hold that down because I want that to be glued on to here. There we go. And then now, so now we're going to go ahead, this is going to go like kind of butt up against that little black strip. Isn't that cute? That's going to go right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and, okay, I have to take a deep breath. <laughs> Hopefully this works here. Um, I, it did work, so I just want to make sure. I was just, uh, I'm afraid. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to put a little thin line. All the way across. Okay. And this is going to go like so. Oof, I'm not sure if I like that. Oh, you know, it is... Actually, you know, you can't really tell too much. It's like a little yellow, but you know what? At this point, it's done. So let's just go ahead and hold that down since that is that acetate. So we're going to hold that down. So while that's down, we're going to go ahead and decorate this now. I went ahead and I cut this out in some green shiny cardstock. And I added some black foam behind it. Now, let me see. Maybe I'm going to put that down there. Okay, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to glue this up there. And again, we're going to use our hot glue gun. Gonna go like so and then we're gonna add something that I haven't used in a really really long time and remember I used to always use buttons and I found my beautiful little shiny buttons I 
have no idea where I got this from. I just found that in my little pack. You know how I use that little container to put all my sequences in? Well, this I have another one with these little, but I'm pretty sure if you Google, like, I don't know, what would these be called? Like, maybe rhinestone buttons, maybe? I don't know. But I saw these. I was like, oh, I have to use that. Because I wanted this to be... I know I've been using all these bright colors this week, but I wanted to kind of scale it back a little and make, make like a little little classy version of something. So we're going to go ahead and, again, put hot glue gun on this. And I put a little twine in there. You see the... I'm not sure if you can see it or not. It might be too shiny to see. Okay. I'm going to put this down like so. I'm just going to hold that down for a quick minute. I definitely don't want this to come off for sure. <laughs> oh, okay, that's perfect. <clears throat> okay, now this we could put down with my handy dandy, my little trusty glossy accents. This I know will stay because I've always uh, glued down foam before and it's perfect. So I'm actually going to put this closer to me just to make sure I, I put all the glue on perfectly. Oh, we're almost done. I'm super excited. Oh, oh, while I while I'm doing this, I wanted to tell you before I forget the bunch of stitch the bunch of fun <laughs> circle dies. Remember those ones that I sold out of? They are actually available for pre-order. Now, if you don't want to wait because the shipping obviously shipping times are much longer right now, so they probably won't be back in until the end of December okay so if you feel comfortable and waiting that long um, go ahead and order it because I know a lot of people are like we don't care we just want to at least have the order so they can know for sure they're gonna get it you know so um, so if you don't mind waiting that long now now this is now I don't want to give you an exact date because I don't like doing this especially right now in these times with our shipping all over the place right now but I'm hoping, cross our fingers, that everything goes well and I do get it by the end of December. So if there's shipping delays, it could go into like the first week of January. So I just want to give you a heads up right now. And again, if you don't feel comfortable waiting that long, then you don't have to place the order. You could just go ahead and wait until it actually comes in. But I think you're safe pre-ordering it because you know it's a for sure thing. I didn't realize that I was going to sell out of them so quickly on the 24th. You know, I apologize to everybody who were, were waiting for it and they missed out. It's just that since I am, I'm not a huge company. I'm very small company, basically just me. <laughs> you know, my mom helps me too and my boys occasionally. Um, but I can't, I've learned my lesson with this. I've been doing this for 12 years. Whenever I order like a huge amount of something, I'd always, always be stuck with it, and um, and I, I, I don't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully you all understand. So that's why I'm there. I'm always kind of careful, you know, just to protect my own self as well. Um, yeah. So that's it. So I figure that's probably the best thing to do to get a pre-order in. Okay. So. This is it, my friends. I actually really like the way this came out. I hope it doesn't look too busy. Um, I don't know. I really like it. I think it's very classy looking. So that is our, that's my gift card holder for you today. I want to make sure everything's dry. Okay, there we go. And then here goes the little gift card, a little Starbucks gift card in there for someone. And I, okay, see now actually it's not too bad. If you really focus and if you tell someone you put the hot glue, you can see it a little bit, but like I said, it's nothing majorly. Um, I really like it now. I'm thinking I might have to add something at the bottom. So if I do, you'll see it on the thumbnail picture. If not, definitely visit my blog at www.creativetimeforme.com and you can see the final picture, more pictures of this, and also see what my fabulous design team has created for you today. Don't forget to leave your comments on all of our blogs for a chance to win a gift card, um, a $15 gift card to my shop. I will announce all winners <clears throat> on 
next week, okay? I don't want to tell you a specific date, but next week all winners will be announced. So there will be a total of five, five winners, okay? I'm super excited. Now you could also put a hole on it and use this as a little tag. Put it on a gift, put it on a tree. I love the way it came out. So anyways, so that's it everybody. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Have a fabulous day and I will see you all back here tomorrow. Bye-bye.